皆さんこんにちは。Good afternoon. NEC Aerospace and National Security Domain. I am Miyoshi. I am in the position of the NEC Fellow. And for those who have not used the outer space yet, I try to convince them to tap into the opportunity of the outer space. First of all, I'd like to thank Secure World Foundation for this opportunity, particularly during the planning phase. Crystal Azelton, who has worked through me with me to go through this、uh, process. Thank you very much. So, Azelton had unfortunately an accident and、uh, who is not、um, attending this、uh, venue today, but I'm hoping that、uh, he is listening in、uh, via、uh, Zoom or online basis. Now, I am hoping that all of you are enjoying the conference for the two days so far. I believe that this is a very exciting、uh, venue and Uh, um, I was listening into many sessions with excitement, particularly the keyword sustainability, which covers a broad range of concepts and ideas. And therefore, the broad ideas and opinions are exchanged in this particular conference. And that is quite impressive so far, particularly yesterday from Mitsubishi UFJ Financial Groups.、Uh, Mr. Akita presented the three perspectives. The first is Regarding the accessibility of the outer space itself. And the second is from the utilization of the outer space, try to make the Earth more, more sustainable. And the third is the development of the space industry itself will become the sustainability. So he has summarized in such a three、uh, type perspectives, and that was quite impressive. Now, use my time. Effectively, and I'd like to particularly talk about how to make the space industry more sustainable. From that point of view, I'd like to make my remarks and I'd like to talk about the security, civil, and commercial, all these three sectors, and、uh, where these three are intersecting all together. And I'd like to exchange and share opinions with you. When that happens, well, Japan is considered the leading country in trying to address the society, societal issues. And、uh, I'd like to talk about the uniqueness of how this environment is positioned in Japan. And、uh, I am seeing that、uh, environment is different, business environment is different in each country or region. However, I am hoping to give some type of a new perspective in. Applicable to each market in my speech. At the outset, I'd like to talk about the situation in Japan. Now, the Japanese government in March of this year h a v e announced that the $6 billion of the、uh, Space Foundation to be、uh, instituted, and、uh, they have announced that idea. So, Japan has struggled with the last three decades in the past. And the、uh, government is expecting the space industry、uh, to shoulder uh, the uh, further、uh, economic driver role、uh, to restore the Japanese economies. And we、uh, and I uh, have uh, completely endorsed the Japanese、uh, government's、uh, policy. Now, compared to Europe, US uh, space uh, industry sites, Japan is having much more smaller value because, unlike the rest of the world, Japan is different. The meaning of endeavoring into the outer space、uh, will only be related to the science and technology development. And、uh, we've limited the objective of our outer space utilization to a science and technology point of view. So there are more areas that we need to invest in society and others. So when it comes to the number of、uh, participants, number of capital to investment in outer space, Japan had rather limited amount so far. However, as you are fully aware, democratization of a space is pr- progressing、um, very rapidly, and Japan is looking at the security areas,、uh, and、uh, that is becoming a bit more difficult and risky at this moment, and therefore, making a sustainable situation for space environment is actually something that Japan will have to address, and therefore, security, civil, Commerce, commercial, these three sectors will collaborate strongly and try to 
continuously generate the human talents to be able to serve for the outer space. And that perspective becoming uh, quite necessary at this point in time. And therefore, the three sectors are intersecting in regard to the human capital, as you see on this slide. And on top of that, the perspective that we need to endorse is that we need to manage uh, from the human capital centric way. That is something that we strongly believe in. Now, when it comes to human capital, what uh, power that human capital will have to serve? Rather than the problem solving power, I believe that the human capital will have to be capable of setting the problems. So envision what is the more desirable society and for that to serve, how outer space will have to be beneficial. And the human capital will have to be able to think about what is necessary. So there are intersections. On top of that, we have put the society at the top of this intersection of this uh, human capital. So society perspective is really <coughs> important when you think about human capital. So human capital be able to make society better. What uh, outer space industry will have to do to generate such human capital? What are the challenges? I believe that there are two big challenges for space human capital management. The first is the space for dialogue, and the second is the place for the hands-on experiences. So that is now developed from STEM education. So science, technology, engineering, and arts and the language. So humanities and arts and uh, science and technology, uh, all this knowledge will be useful. However, knowledge itself is not sufficient enough. There has to be a courage to make it in practice. And um, the engineering technology arts are all providing the prices uh, for the actual practices. Through practices, you will identify who you are, what is valued, and what needs to be respected. Philosophy will be built, and that philosophy will be returned back to and expressed in engineering, technology, and arts so that people will have first-hand experiences of these so that the uh, value will be generated. So I think that social value is positioned in that way. Now, Space Tide and uh, Sixth Summit for Space Sustainability, there are venues for um, making the society in a better place. But what about practices? There are liberal uh, trend in the world and a global comments uh, and uh, frequency and outer space. Um, these are all becomes available, available for the practice of a venue. On the other hand, maybe we are lacking the venue for the practices. So think about the space sustainability. Who has the sovereignty? And the sovereignty is at risk in the space sustainability. For the future generation, this issue has to be addressed. When that comes, well, in Japan, we say that respecting the past so that you have uh, gained the learnings for the future. So a uh, cyberspace is something precedented to the outer space. And there is an internet where we have the old um, wisdom. And for the internet, academia was the venue, and there were trial and error made. As a result of that, open network was generated, and that was the cultural value or social value generated in internet. And then realization of the social value is um, resulted in the pr wide prevalent use of uh, internet. TCIP was created in ARPANET, and the World Wide Get Web was uh, created by Cell. And these are the great steps that was made. That is a mechanism to connect the whole world, and that was actually generated uh, as a fundamental knowledge uh, from the academia, and that actually made the whole world in a better place. On the other hand, when it comes to outer space, what is important? Now, observation, measurement, and also SSA, in all areas, there were many different ideas popping up separately in each idea, and try and error is made individually. But in order for the outer space to be the societal infrastructure, all these different um, verticals will have to be organically connected. And for that to happen in the outer space, 
there are not sufficient foundation to、uh, connect the different functions to each other. That foundation is still underdeveloped, which we have to grow more. In the international cooperation, try to, to use the outer space as a global common. We need such mechanisms, and、uh, that will become a platform to、uh, develop the human resources continuously. And also, there will be more、uh, democratization and the level of forces to develop more. And it will protect the sovereignty around the world, and that will become the third pillar of the choices to enable the Earth to continue to be sustainable. In order to realize this, realize this there are many difficulties. But For the future generation and future children, I am hoping that、uh, we want to invite everyone to join the board、uh, to for,、uh, pursue these pathways. And thank you very much for your kind attention.